are you worried about the hair around your boobs or are you worried about the hair around your nipples have you seen these thin lengthy curly hair coiled around your boobs and you're extremely concerned about it So let me just explain something. As we know, during puberty, women grow hair as a part of secondary sexual characteristics. We know that we grow hair under the arms as a part of puberty. We also grow pubic hair as a part of puberty. Similarly, you can have hair in other parts of the body as well, which is absolutely normal. So that will include, you know, some people have hair uh, either around their um, umbilical area, they have on the up and down they have hair and some people can have hair, you know, in around their breast areas, in between the breast areas and that is absolutely fine. These are happening because of hormonal changes that are happening in our body and the hair occur. Usually the hair around the breast area is not as dense as the one in the pubic area and usually it's maintained or managed really easy so sometimes people are happy to twist them out and they're happy with it if it's large some people shave the hair some people uh, even wax it off and that's absolutely fine if the hair around the breast is actually annoying you and you want to get rid of it then feel free and go for it and use any of these methods to get rid of it that are safe you don't have to feel ashamed about it or you don't have to feel worried about it because that is so normal so many of us have hair around our breasts and that is a very normal thing. I really always talk to people and reassure both men and women to say don't compare yourselves or your bodies to what we see on a pornography or what we see in films or what they are showing to us because what we see in pornography is is made it is artificial it's like a film uh, it's it's kind of man-made so they don't show the normal bodies at all and they don't shoot with normal bodies either so I always compare uh, having this unrealistic expectations or having unrealistic body image to watching you know Avengers like children watching Avengers and wanting to be one of those superheroes or believing that being the superheroes and flying out of buildings is normal so it's like that so do not look at these kind of phones or you know anything that is shown on television or on media and compare your body to it as a young person if you did not have hair around the breast and then when you were actually falling pregnant or having a baby you started noticing hair around your breast that is okay too and that's normal and again like I said before this hair is totally dependent on the hormones and the hormonal changes that is happening in your body so what is happening now is you're having a bit of a hormonal change because you're pregnant and you're starting to grow hair around the nipple and that is absolutely fine a lot of the times you will notice that after you've had the baby or after the pregnancy is over these hair actually tend to lighten down and they may actually go away and not grow back like how they grew in the pregnancy so that is something that you don't have to really worry about but a lot of the times mothers are concerned about having hair around the nipple area especially when they are planning to breastfeed so if you want to remove the hair the best way to do it is to use a tweezer and remove them completely because when you're shaving them with a razor and things like that they are rough you know when you use a razor and shave your arm you know when it grows out how rough it is clearly that that won't be pleasant for a baby to suck on. So feel free, use tweezers, remove these hair out. And like I told you, for all you know, it may not grow back because the whole, you know, pregnancy and breastfeeding is over. It may not come back. And that's absolutely fine as well. If it's really bothering you, you can actually get rid of it. You can remove it. And if it is a permanent hair that is present and it is not going away and you find it extremely annoying, the best way to actually get rid of it is probably lasers because you have such fantastic lasers these days. They are expensive, but we must remember they will be equating to the cost that we constantly are going and using hair removing creams or we are constantly going and getting waxed. So instead of all that, if you're going to spend the little bucks, you will get rid of these hair and laser hair will work fantastically for all of this. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.